There's a whole list of vitamins and minerals that your mitochondria need to be able to turn the, those minerals and vitamins into energy. If you are eating a crappy diet, if you are eating processed foods, if you are not eating enough vegetables, if you are not eating enough uh, protein-rich foods, you are not fulfilling the number one requirement of your mitochondria, which is vitamins and minerals. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you why something as simple as sunlight may help your fasting efforts. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a fasting mission to get a million people fasting. I think everything you're looking for around fasting, you should hopefully find on my channel. If you, have, if you don't, put it in the comments and I'll make sure that I make a video for it. So if you are new, hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so that you get these videos when they come out. And those of you that share my videos, as always, I love being on this journey with you. Okay, we're gonna dive into the mitochondria, which is that little part of the cell that provides energy for you. And it's this part of your cells that is benefiting from your fasting lifestyle. And there are some things that you can do to help the mitochondria uh, along so that they make it easier for you to fast and you get a quicker result with your fasting and a maybe even better result with your fasting. So let's dive in to why these mitochondria love it when you fast and what you can do to help them along, and sunlight's a big piece of this. Here we go. So inside your cells, you have these little powerhouses. Think of them like batteries. And what they do is they make ATP. So ATP is just a fancy terminology we use for cellular energy. The more ATP you have, the more energy you have. If you don't have enough ATP, you will not only feel depleted in energy for your body, but you're, you will heal slower, your brain will work slower, everything, every cellular process will be affected. So the name of the cellular game is to give these mitochondria whatever they want so that they can start to make you more ATP. Now, knowing that, let's dive into what do these mitochondria want? So, and this is not even want, this is like they need this. And if you don't give it to them, they will be sick and they will deplete your body of energy. I wrote out five key things your mitochondria need. So the first, there is a whole list, and I won't bore you with all of the details, perhaps on another video I'll come to you on this. There's a whole list of vitamins and minerals that your mitochondria need to be able to turn the, those minerals and vitamins into energy. If you are eating a crappy diet, if you are eating processed foods, if you are not eating enough vegetables, if you are not eating enough uh, protein-rich foods, you are not fulfilling the number one requirement of your mitochondria, which is vitamins and minerals. So we have to make sure that we are always looking that our healthy eating life is gonna make our fasting windows so much easier. Okay, second thing, these mitochondria need oxygen. And here's the thing, if you are not moving, you are not getting enough oxygen into your cells. Here's the second thing, as you age, your cells become more oxygen resistant. So you can't even pull in oxygen from your daily movement to be able to nourish these mitochondria. So if you are on the younger end, I'm gonna say 40 and under, then definitely get your body moving. That's an, a phenomenal way to get oxygen into your, into your system and feed those mitochondria. If you are over 40 or if you've had multiple concussions or you've had a lot of tox toxic living, lots of toxic trauma in your life, you may actually need to go one more step with oxygen and actually get into like a hyperbaric oxygen chamber where they compress down the oxygen so it gets into those cells and fires those mitochondria up. So know that oxygen is important just because you're sitting in a room breathing doesn't mean you are giving these mitochondria what they need. Okay, third thing, your mitochondria need hydrogen. Okay, this, where do we get hydrogen in our world? We get it in water. 
So are you drinking enough water? I've been talking a lot uh, with my academy group about structured water and how important structured water. That's a whole nother video. But structured water has more hydrogen in it, so it's more accessible to the cells. But for your interests, are you drinking enough water? Had you ever really thought like, gosh, you know, eating healthy, breathing, moving around, and drinking water is going to help me do a 20 hour fast, is gonna help me do a 20, a 48 hour fast. What you do on a daily basis really is going to set these mitochondria up to thrive with your fasting lifestyle or crumble. Okay, next thing, and this is the key thing, and you're gonna hear me talk a lot about this because there's so much to unpack with light. Your mitochondria need light, and there are two types of light that they need. So they need red light, so you've got to have your eyes see sunrise and sunset. That's where you will get red light. So make sure you are getting out or at least looking out at the sunrise or looking at the sunset. And midday, your mitochondria need full spectrum light. So they need you to go out into the light outside without your sunglasses on, take a 20 minute walk. Now you've fulfilled two requirements of those mitochondria, the oxygen and the light, and you're getting outside and you literally, your mitochondria have receptor sites on the outside of them. Receptor sites that like sit right on the outside for light. And they have red light and full spectrum light. So if you're not getting light into these mitochondria, especially the red light, you are depriving it of a key nutrient that it needs. And this is why I wanna bring light to you guys, because so many of us are sitting inside and we're not getting the proper light and we're not moving our body. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing, the mitochondria need ketones. And you all know how to get ketones. This is why we fast. Every time you are fasting, it doesn't matter how short or how long, if you are getting feeling like you're in ketosis or you're seeing ketones on your meter, those ketones are going in and they are taking these damaged mitochondria and they are making them healthy again. This is why fasting works so well is because they power those ketones, start to bring the mitochondrial health back and they power those mitochondria back up, okay? So those are, ask yourself as you're listening to this, those of you that are avid fasters, are you doing all of this? And this is all free. This doesn't take money to do. And then you pair that with these, the fasting variation that I'm teaching you, and all of a sudden, the health of your body, your brain, just will, will amplify. But we can't, fasting's miraculous, but we cannot lose sight of these five things. Okay, last thing I wanna just point out that there are very key things that deplete these mitochondria and make it so that you need to do more of this, that you need to give it more ketones, that you need to supply it with more. And I'm gonna go through these really quick. Poor food, nutrient missing food, nutrient deficient food, processed food that has no vitamins or minerals, that is going to tank your mitochondria. Low levels of oxygen, not moving around, gonna make it hard on the mitochondria. Not getting enough water, not getting enough hydrogen, hard on the mitochondria. Blue light, sitting in front of computers and cell phones, hard on the mitochondria. Not getting out into sunlight, so you're indoors all day, you're depleting the mitochondria. And then of course, too many toxins and too much glucose. This is the Western way. I don't care where you live, but so many of us are living life like this. And when you are doing these things over and over again, and you're not doing these things over and over again, you will make these mitochondria sick. And the more sick those mitochondria are, the harder it's going to be to fast. So I'm hoping you can see this formula that I'm trying to create here for you. What I am gonna do over the next several videos is I wanna go into details on some of these things a little more. Like, did you know that there are vitamins you can take that will help these mitochondria? And will, when the mitochondria are ha healthy and happy, they'll make your fasting a lot easier. I'm gonna go into those. We're gonna talk about light. Did you know that infrared light, when you go out into nature and you look at nature, the infrared part of the sun bounces off of nature and goes into your mitochondria in your body and heals you. So being out in nature and getting light out in nature can actually heal these mitochondria. So I wanna dive into each one with you 
And so that you have a long list of a lot of free things to bring your mitochondria back to balance, to make fasting easier for yourself and for you to really truly take back control of your health. So as always, I appreciate you guys. If you like this level of detail, I mean, I'm going nuanced now. So if you're a beginner faster, this may be a little overwhelming. If you have been with me for a while, please put in the comments if you're resonating with this level of information because I want to take your fasting to a whole new level. So as always, hope that helps.